Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Hurry Up Chicken Butt. It's ages four and up, two to six players, and it takes about two minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the person who has last or most recently done an activity with the chicken uh, before the timer goes off. Uh, we have a six person game set up here. You can write down the names of who these different nests belong to if you want to. Um, we haven't bothered, but if that's a thing you enjoy doing, they have a spot for that. And all you do for this game is you have this cute little plastic chicken with a die inside of it. There is a button you will push on the bottom and it makes a little clicking noise. It's not too loud. And on your turn, you shake the die and then you have to, it's on, you say it's starting on this person's nest and you have to do whatever the activity is. So there's pink, purple, green, blue, yellow, and wild. Uh, we have ruled pink and that is the chicken butt. What you do for the chicken butt is somebody gets to place this somewhere away from where you're playing usually. You pick a spot and then when you roll pink, you run over and you tap it and say chicken butt and run back and then your turn is over. You hand this over to the nest next to you and you roll it again. If you get a yellow, you have to re-roll and then you roll again and you roll until you get something. Wild, you can pick any three of these. And with small children, you have to make sure they know what these are. They're kind of icons to show you, but this one's pat your head and rub your belly. There's a bunch of different options. You just have one for each round. And um, the timer just went off. It's pretty short. And so the person beforehand would be the winner of this round. Yay! And there's not anything special for the winner. You just go on to the next player after that. But all you're doing on these rounds is you have one card up for each color. You've hidden your chicken butt somewhere. Well, where everybody knows you've placed it somewhere nearby. You make sure each kid knows, okay, pat your head and rub your belly. Um, touch this, touch the sky and then your toes. Uh, walk like a dog on all fours around everybody. And then if the uh, round ends, you, you switch to a new activity. So we just generally shuffle and leave them out like this because we play a good number of rounds whenever we play. And then we make sure everybody knows what the next activity is. And you move the chicken butt to another spot and you just play, you can count, you can have just where you win best out of three. You can just play as many games as you want and, until everybody wins. Uh, it's very, it's just elevated hot potato is what this game is. So that's how to play Hurry Up Chicken Butt. The target demographic for this game is preschoolers or whatever age would be playing a game like Hot Potato. That's who would play this game. And this game is so much better than Hot Potato. Uh, the rule complexity is so easy. However, there is a reading component to this to be able to switch out the cards and have different challenges for each round of play. So this is one that Kids can sort of play independently. You need to have an older child or an adult around who can tell them what the cards say each round. Uh, how competitive is this game? Surprisingly low. Uh, hot potato can be kind of a high intensity where you're just trying to pass it around. Kids can get a little frantic while they play. And that seems to go away in this game because the activities that you're doing are so fun or, or funny that you get, the kids get really focused on what they're getting to do. And so even if the, the buzzer goes off and you're, and the person before you wins and you're out, uh, you're doing a fun thing when that happens. So no one has seemed to get particularly upset or nervous when they play this game, which is kind of beautiful. Uh, so this is so much better than hot potato. And uh, even if kids aren't the winner, then you just set it. It's so quick. You just say, oh, let's say who wins next time and set it up again. Uh, so we have had uh, kids very eager to win, but um, no upset or hurt feelings so far when we've played this game. We've played it a fair amount. Uh, the replay value is medium just because small children love this game and they want to play it over and over and over again. But as a parent, if I'm going to be involved, it is a bit more active than I want to have to be a lot of times because you are doing very cute active things. You're scooching around the whole circle on your bum. You're um, twirling in circles. You're, you're doing 
uh, you're spinning around for something like there's a lot of very active challenges and uh, as an adult half the time you kind of want to just sit there for games so it's fine for a round or two but then I want to pass it on to the kid so if you're using this for play dates for siblings to get to play together and you kind of oversee it it should get a lot of use but as a parent involved uh, it's just pretty active so know that uh, similar games, if you like this one, uh, the publisher Exploding Kittens has a ton of very, uh, fancy, fun games geared mostly for ages seven and up. Well, they've started these, uh, games geared for younger kids. And the other one that we've played is the Best Worst Ice Cream game. And that is another just smash hit as far as I'm concerned, where you're flipping out cars and trying to fill up your ice cream cone first. So fun. Uh, we Everybody we've introduced that to has loved it. So highly recommend that one. And then if you're looking for another kind of cute runaround game for four-year-olds, uh, Pancake Pile-Up is a great game. It has little pancake recipe cards and you're running back and forth and trying to fill your order. And kids love pancakes, so they love that game too. But Hurry Up Chicken Butt is a hoot. Kids love it. We've been enjoying it so much. So you should check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.